So after playing with Ultimate Lapec this week and fully optimizing him, he has turned into one of the most insane boss killers. And I personally don't know why I waited so long to use him, but he is an absolute monster. We drop Pyromaniac in nine seconds. We end up fighting Devour and we drop him in six seconds. All hard bosses going down in seconds is pretty insane. Now he is a pure glass cannon, but what do you need defense and HP for if the enemies are dropping in under 10 seconds? Now you first saw Pyromaniac, now you saw Devour. What about Executioner? Yes, he went down just as fast. Now once you get into the hard bosses that require group play, that's where it gets a little bit tricky because yes, you'll be able to put out a lot of damage, but those bosses are gonna have more HP, meaning you're not going to be able to drop them as fast. You will be able to take big chunks of the enemies out, but again, you won't be able to drop them like we're doing here. And look, we also have Dead Bride on hard. So I pretty much showed you all of the solo bosses that you can do, except Swamp Walker, which he definitely, you can get down pretty low. I haven't tried him enough to know if I can solo him, but take a look at this, Dead Bride, eight seconds. And I'll tell you, this has been one of the funnest builds I have run. Ultimate Peck makes bossing fun. I personally am a Viesa main, but since I recently unlocked Ultimate Peck, as you guys, many of you guys know, if you guys watch my video, man, he has been a blast. So let's get into the build. So if we look at the build, you'll see we're sitting at 10,700 defense, 2,800 health, and he is a glass cannon. That's what he's made to put out extremes amount of damage so that way he can kill those bosses. Now, before we get into the build, I did just wanna show you one important thing that you guys should know, because some of you guys don't stay for the weapons, but Enduring Legacy or whatever primary you want, you're gonna wanna have to get two mods for it. And I'll explain in a second. Number one is gonna be sharp precision shot. The reason why is because if you look at this, while pulling the trigger, the fire rate is plus 4%. Now recoil is negative 5% and then the firearm attack is plus 6% every 0.5 seconds. Now this stacks up to 10 times. And that's why the longer you hold your ultimate, it takes into account this mod right here. So you'll start to fire it faster and faster and faster. And a lot of people don't put this on this on their builds, so they're missing out on a lot of damage because you're able to shoot more ultimates at him, right? The next thing you guys wanna do is make sure you have fire rate up on your primary weapon that you're using. Make sure it's the weapon that is tied to your react. And I'll show you my react in just a second because that is another key element to making this build work. Now, my Enduring Legacy isn't fully maxed out, but I have the standard rifle and reinforcement for the fire attack, action reaction for fire attack recoil, better insight for crit rate, better concentration for crit damage. We have expand weapon charge, so we're gonna get more rounds per magazine, very, very important on Enduring Legacy. And then obviously, you know, we have fire rate. I plan on adding a few other things. I would like to add weak point sight, especially for bossing and then concentration priority for that firearm critical hit. Damage would be great there too. So those are two I would like to add and maybe an elemental damage at some point. Now, if you look at my Endure Legacy, I have fire attack already on here, firearm attack, fire critical hit rate. And I would like to get, instead of that weak point damage, maybe put critical hit damage, or maybe I even take out that fire attack and then I could put fire attack mod on there and then I could do something a little bit different. I haven't really played with this enough to see what works best with Endure Legacy, but I definitely want to get critical hit rate on, critical hit damage on here, and maybe even Colossal, so I have to play with it a little bit more. So before we go into the reactors and the external components, what I said are very key to this build, let's get into the build. Now for our first mod, you'll notice we have Firearm Master. The reason why this one is important to have is because look at this second thing. It says chaining a weapon increases skill power. So when you go from Endure Legacy, you go to your ultimate, it considers that changing weapon, so you get that boost in skill power which is that's why you're able to hit those crazy shots we have mp accelerant which is going to improve our skill duration and increase our max mp we have skill insight because obviously we want to be able to hit those critical hit shots right we want to be able to crit more and i'll show you my exact critical hit um rate in a few we have enlightenment to max out our mp so we don't run low when popping those alts we have maximum power which is going to increase our skill power modifier we have skill extension for that skill duration we have front lines, this is gonna increase our um, skill critical hit damage and skill critical hit rate. 
We have emergency measures, which is going to increase our skill critical hit rate and skill critical damage. You see, we're stacking a lot of crit rate, crit damage. If you look at our applied value, 207% on both the critical hit rate and critical hit damage. For our skill concentration, we have skill critical hit damage. We have fire specialist for that fire skill power. And then we have dangerous ambush for when landing a skill while enemy is not targeting you, skill power is plus 24%. On skill attack against immobilized enemy, skill power is 49%. Now, I do have long distance maneuvering. You can choose whatever you want. Now, I did use a catalyst on everything but one, so I could always swap this out if I need to. But again, this is a key component to be able to get those fast, fast, hard bosses. Do you need this to do hard bosses on solo? No, I was doing most of the hard bosses without that. What this does, it allows you to get that a little bit more damage that can help you destroy those enemies faster. So this is technically the build that you want to go to. It's you got to invest in it if you want to be able to see the power. If we go back real quick and we take a look at our info, you'll see our critical hit rate is 46% and our critical hit rate damage multiplier is 4.42. So almost a 50% chance of critting, right? That, that's pretty impressive. Now for the reactors, this is a key component you guys need to get. First, you want to have the optimization conditions met. So I'm using Enduring Legacy, so you want to have Enduring Legacy mounting. If you want to use a different weapon, make sure the mounting is there because you're going to gain additional skill power of 160%. Now, our skill power boost ratio, you want to have fire and tech because tech is what? That is our ult. That is our fourth. So it's going to give us the most damage out of there. And then the bonus stats you really want to go for, since this is a bossing, you want to get that additional skill attack when attacking Colossals and you want to get critical hit damage. Those seem to be the best two for this, especially because you're trying to hit those crits higher and drop those enemies faster. Now for the external components, I went with the Slayer set. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give us a two set bonus of general rounds capacity, 8%. But look at this, rounds per magazine, 9%. Skill cost does go up 15%, but the skill power, 26% is huge on this build. Now I do have defense and max HP on the auxiliary power. We have on the sensor max shield, and then you wanna to try to get one that has max MP right here. For the memory, you wanna go max shield and then definitely get defense, so that way you can have some type of survivability. You know we don't have much on here. And then for the processor, you want the max HP and max shield. So ideally, this is kind of the setup you guys wanna go with, and you sit, I'm sitting at 10,000, almost 11,000 defense. Not a lot, but this helps out a little bit. But yeah, that is the build right there, and I'm telling you guys, if you guys haven't built a boss killer, Ultima Lepec is your guy. If you guys wanna see how to unlock him, how I did, I'll have a link to that in the pinned comment, and that way you guys can go watch that video. It took me about a day, it wasn't hard at all. And yes, he is fully ready to go, and this is his build right here. So let me know if you guys have been using Ultima Lepec. I know I'm a little late, but I'm enjoying him nevertheless, and definitely excited to keep using him along with my other descendants. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, ain't nothing but skills out.